Yo, what is good guys, J0 bringing you another Oris Wi-Fi battle against Young Phaser. And let's go ahead and get started into the match. So, uh, let's get to send out the Weezing, Weezing, Weezing. I'm going to send out Eric Dactyl. We're going to go ahead and have that little ability. Also, no, you know. No berries could be eaten and we go for the taunt just in case he might do something like that where he's gonna will o -wisp. I do switch out into the Spider-Man here, Galvantula. Trying to see if he's gonna use any other moves other than that. Uh, he does go into the extra drill. Uh, I go for the sticky web and potentially make sure the other side was low enough. Uh, he does go for the rock side. I'm guessing because he thought I was gonna switch back out into um, Eric Dactyl and see if he could kill off the Eric Dactyl like that. I decided to go for a bug buzz. I was hoping to maybe I should have just go ahead and switch back into Eric Dactyl if he was gonna go for the rapid spin, if anything. But I was just, uh, don't know, don't know what to do. Uh, but he killed off the Spider-Man. I sent out Kakashi. Pretty much got him down weak enough, but he decided to switch out. And he switched out into Trevin. Now, either way, how this thing could gone to, I should have went for agility at first hand and then switched out. As you see here, I didn't switch out. Uh, I didn't try to uh, baton pass. I should have did it the first hand. That's what I was thinking. I should have did it for the first hand and then switch out before he leech seed. But either way, if I was gonna leech seed, he still, I still would have passed on the, uh, the leech seed. So decided to send out his Tritanitar instead of. Uh, Keeping his Trevenant, so I was like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and switch out to Lola and see if Lola can handle such a, you know, fermented foe right here. Uh, just get a little bit of Leech Seed, you know, health back, even though he's at full health. He decided to switch out because he did not want to take Kiny to a, a uh, did some fighting moves that I might have on uh, Lola, basically. So I went for the fake out still, gun the fake out off, but couldn't really do anything from there. Uh, I wish I had Earthquake because it would have been nice to have an Earthquake move and was able to use an earthquake on this Pokemon. I know there is the whole point it has levitate, so I really can't do anything about it. Uh, the only way I will be able to do something about it if I had Eric Dacto with Smackdown, I could just smack it down and then I could be able to land the earthquake move by switching it out. So here we go and get killed by the Lisi. So it's getting done standy. Uh, at least I got enough damage off of the wheezing, but not as too much because it is still have the fact that it has a um, black sludge. I sent out Paul and he switches out the uh, his uh, wheezing. I guess predicting that I might have psychic. But honestly, I do not have Psychic. I wish I did put Psychic on here so he could. It would do a lot much better with the threats that is currently there. But gladly I didn't. He. Gladly I didn't. I wish I did, but it sucks that I didn't. So I decided to switch out because I don't want to deal with this Pokemon. He has Ghost Moves, so I'm pretty sure he's going to use something like that against me or his Grass. Type of moves. So he goes for another leech seed, uh, and I decided to either bug buzz 
or yeah i went for the bug buzz try to see if i could do as much damage as i can uh, it does a little bit amount of damage but he goes for another leech seat uh leave no horn leech to get most of his health back i wish i could go for giga drain and try to see if i could do the same amount but since i'm just a bug type uh, i i really can't do anything too much to this grass ghost type pokemon so all i could do is just throw out some bug moves throw out some bug moves trying to get the special defense drop and whatnot so i finally got that situated where kills that off you know kakashi is now down for the count i was able to send back you know eric dactyl just in case that case that he might go for a, another uh leech seed but i decided not to do that i decided to go for an ice fang just to get it damaged down so i could probably be able to take it down with one more uh ice fang and it kind of got there it kind of got close but he decided to go for a rest and this is where, at this moment in time, he uh, he was like, wait, why is why is my Pokemon not waking up? And he forgot that I had a nerve to, so, so whoever is eating their uh, berries that they won't, you know, be able to use their berries. So he forgot that I had that on, and that's why his Pokemon couldn't wake up from his sleep. So... I've been taking him down, chopping him down. He decided to switch out. He didn't want to deal with that, uh, you know, losing his uh, president. So he switched out into, um, what you call it? Uh, I don't know, my nitric. Yeah, there we go. And he made he made his my nitric. And at this moment in time, I got intimidated. My attack is lower. I go for a Stone Age, see if I could take it out with a Stone Age. I'm pretty, it's cool that I got the Stone Age off and it was a crit because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to take it out with that crit because it, it the attack did get lowered. So I was like, oh, I'm so surprised that the crit was worth in my favor. So that was a good thing. I go for an Ice Fang, try to see if I can at least flinch it or froze it or whatever the chance I could get off of it if anything I tried to go for the stone edge as well he went for the pursuit thinking that I was gonna switch I decided not to I'll go for the touch just in case he had any stealth rocks probably on him that he might want to use against me and a later point of that that didn't happen so at least we just you know make sure it won't he decided to switch out into um, Trevenant. I went for the uh, close combat when I was trying to against the, the Tritonitar, but it didn't happen. Uh, but at least it killed the Trevenant. At least the Trevenant got killed by the uh, Sandstorm, so that was a good thing. It helped me a lot. I didn't have to do as much there. Uh, I try to go for a close combat onto the uh, Garchup, but he decided to go for an Outrage, and since he had rough skin, that even decreases more of the chance of KOing me because I also had the Life Orb, so that definitely is a guaranteed KO to the Infernip, and that sucks. Uh, the scent did go away. I was able to go back into Paw at full health. Uh, he goes for another Outrage. I do go for an Ice Beam. Uh, he does get confused. And then the Ice Beam does land. He does die to the Ice Beam. So now I got, I think it was like one more Pokemon to go. And I probably won't be able to defeat it because I also have my one Pokemon to go as well. So he does send back out his Tritonitar. Uh, he goes for the crunch, basically guaranteeing a KO from it. 
mean, it didn't KO me. It got me to like 10 HP. Uh, I was able to still survive. Still survived. Got the uh, burn off. Been a kill. I got killed by the sandstorm. So that's the game there. Uh, please comment, share, subscribe, hit that like button, and picture squirrel says on. Stay awesome, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like.